Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Last episode we made a little bit more progress moving through Poland trying to get these two pincers close as we possibly can together before winter sets in. It's September 5th. I don't know if it's going to be possible to close this off before winter but we're going to try our damnedest to get as close as we possibly can. Now, the Germans have been launching most of their most furious and most successful counterattacks against this section right here between the Varta uh, and Oder rivers. Now, it's only been mildly successful because this is the thinnest section of my line. But what I realized just a second ago off screen is that I have... Uh, like 10 garrisons sitting right here in Leningrad and transport ships there. So I'm gonna, I loaded those guys up on the transport ships and they're going straight over here to Kahlberg. I'm gonna dump a ton of garrisons in Kahlberg and really shore up that line. You can, should be able to see them moving any second now. Oh, that's not them. There they are, moving super slow, 11 kilometers per hour. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll just leave them there. And they're going to go over there, dump those guys in, and we'll be good to go. Now, this section of the line is starting to make some really awesome progress, especially because there's a ton of brand new, fresh divisions here to work with. We're also getting uh, our reinforc reinforcements arriving down in Bulgaria, so we should be able to make progress down there as well. Fighting through uh, the... what is it? What, what, which mountain range is this one right here? The ones in Romania. Carpathian? Whatever. Fighting through that mountain range has been really rough. Uh, a lot of casualties, not a lot of progress. And I can't believe the Germans are still trying to punch through right here. Yep. What we need to do is push past some of these provinces here. Uh, like right in there uh, and right over here. That'll make it more difficult to assault from multiple directions. And where was this major defeat? That was right here. That's okay, though. Uh, no, no real risk of that devolving into further chaos, so not terribly concerned about that. And we do have reinforcements right there. Literally right there, about to march into the province. Zero, zero. A lot of zero, zero battles. All of our tanks should be being um, upgraded right now. Alright, so we have a ton of fresh motorized troops here that just redeployed in fresh. So we are going to move them straight over this way. Let the Germans wear themselves out counterattacking. That's what they've that's what they're good at for the most part. Okay, where is your command structure moving? Alright. So I've got most of my command structure moving up because we've actually outranged them, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, because it means we've been fighting without some of our bonuses for a while now. Kind of forgot about that. And an airbase, save it. Not gonna bother with that. All right, alrighty. So we've arrived. Let's see. How do we want to put? We have garrisons coming down this way, so yeah, we do. We have garrisons coming down this way to shore up that line. I'm, I'm gonna surround a ton of units in Serbia and destroy them. That is gonna be fun. Garrisons need to stop retreating. Where are my ships? Where are my ships? They're going back. They turned around. Oh, because we lost the port. So we'll drop them in Danzig instead. Let's just, just hit rebase. That'll get them closer. We lost the port, that's why. Attack modifiers are pretty good. Might be able to... Nope, they're under attack there. Alright, so let's just uh, leave that. Don't need to press the issue at the moment. Don't need to press the issue. All right, and let's press past the Lutz here. See what we can do. Shouldn't be a lot of resistance here because they've suffered some uh, pretty heavy pummelings recently, so we're taking that one. Uh, let's leave like an, the regular infantry division there to garrison that province and attack here. German motorized troops should be pretty squishy. Yeah, we're causing pretty heavy casualties against the Germans these days. Heavy assault guns. A lot of our armor is upgrading at the moment. Panzer remnants. 
Can't believe the magic lair division still exists. That's infuriating. Having destroyed them, I wish they had stayed destroyed. Alright, so we managed to shore up the lines here. Prevent them from falling. Let's grab anybody with any speed in them. And zoom into that province before the Germans can make a move. Right, you guys lost your command structure as well. Ah, here we go. That was actually going to be probably the easiest thing. Move them over this way. Get them from the other side. Start moving these guys down this way. We'll sweep past them. Oh, you know what would probably be best? Let's do this. These units we could probably um, cut off in some of these Greek areas. Probably is the key word there. <laughs> How do we want to play this? How do we want to play this? Want to keep moving is what we want to do. Keep their organization low. Keep the pressure on them. Hit them as hard as we possibly can. For as long as we possibly can before we have to stop the recoup. In aerodynamics. Operation Dragoon initiated. So invasion of Southern France. Uh, Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Take this area back. Actually, you know what? If we have you guys move right here, if we take back Stetton easily, or Kahlberg, I mean, then we can drop those garrisons right there. And it looks like it is the Panzer Grenadier Division is going to crack under weighted numbers. Which means we could probably actually attack this garrison here and overrun it. Yep. There we go. There's a Romanian division in there as well. Or I guess that they're not under... Not actually in the attack at all. There we go. Yeah. We'll, we'll move our troops into there. And then we can just drop, drop the garrison right off. That'll make sure... That'll really shore up the flanks here. So I want to take a look at something real quick. Because all this stuff upgraded... I, uh, when I was playing as Jeremy, it was cool. It was, you know, the stuff upgraded and it went to different kinds and... Not anymore. Not not in the T-100 infantry tank. Jesus Christ. Not in the the Russian playthrough. That's even... That, that's a stock... Fo, uh, uh, Nibble, ve, how do you pronounce that word? Nebelwerfer? Nebelwerfer, the German multi-barreled rocket launcher thingy. It's a stock photo from K, KV-2 Su-76 maybe. From the vanilla game is what I was trying to say there. Su-85, Su-100 said that. Really? Really? Yeah. Really, uh, not a lot of thought was put into the immersion in the Russian campaign, was there? That was one of my biggest pet peeves if anybody watched my uh, vanilla playthrough. Was the lack of immersion. And uh, it doesn't seem like anything's changed. We can move some of these guys up, actually. We base them. Bombers, we could actually tell them to go over here and hit the line for a couple provinces. Kind of concentrate them in. Try to concentrate them in here, at least. See how how much they how shot up they get. Alrighty. This keeps flying all over the place because of the upgrades and whatnot. The pro you know we've only been we've been creeping through a few days per episode right now, but that's because I want to make sure I don't fuck this up. I really want to make sure I don't screw this up. As there's every possibility that the Germans can turn it around with huge bonuses. As you know the AI loves its bonuses. 
I don't remember if I if I mentioned it though. Uh, it has been confirmed that the AI does not suffer uh, from, or the the AI gets combat bonuses if you're playing as Russia. The player does not. There's no offensive events for Russia. There we go. You guys aren't breaking through there. Look at that. Got those guys straight off the damn boats into combat. Yeah, good. Good. Alright, so why don't we leave some of the, a couple guys here to rest. See if we can't move on this province here. One Panzer Grenadier Division, we should be able to overwhelm them. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're not getting through there. They are not making it through there. So let's grab the tanks, anybody with some armor. Or mobility. And we're gonna move them. Probably should move them up here like this. There we go. Uh, here's a bunch of them. Straight in there, thank you. Good, 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 good. Good. Let's get a little help in here. Moving along the Vistula. Are they really just dogpiling on here? They're just dogpiling on those units. Well, there's plenty of other people to attack. We'll just get that one, though. I want to make sure we punch through here. Get these arms close together. I'm very specifically not launching combat operations in certain areas of the line. Ooh, and we're getting autumn mud. Just to make it more difficult for them to uh, get their troops out. I, mean, I want to bog them down as long as I possibly can in specific areas. Now what we could actually do is launch counterattacks here and push away from Kahlberg closer to Stenton. Like these guys. Take them out, yeah. It's a very minor battle. Oh, you know what? We thought we were fighting, our garrisons were fighting them, that's what happened there. It takes so long to move troops over here because of the terrain, weather, and the fact that it's just very long distances they have to travel. Huge distances. That's good. What city is this? Not even gonna pronounce that. Not even gonna attempt on that one. These Panzer Grenadiers are really holding out, aren't they? Nope, uh, they're going now. 10,000 to 10,000 against the Hungarians here. All right, we won. Now we can start doing is uh, moving these garrisons along the frontage a little bit Short, get that backbone in there I like alrighty nice May, still making some progress ooh good we managed to uh, press through a couple of these provinces make a little bit of progress this area this bend in the um, the Vorta River here is been tough tough nut tough nut to crack but we're making progress Like how we keep getting Wehrmacht remnants. I think that's because units break. And then, um, they get reformed in a, like, a subset of what they were. I think that's what happens there. Not positive, but I think. Right, so, leave some infantry here to garrison the line. Everybody else keep moving on up. Because we lost... 13, 14,000 men, they lost 10,000 taking the city of Radom. I'm gonna pronounce it that way. Oh, that was those crazy Panzer Grenadiers there. Keep this moving. Keep it moving. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing well. Hopefully we can get these sections of the frontage close together before winter sets in. I mean, we might be able to just keep keep fighting through the winter. I don't know. We might. 
Oh my god, this guy is just... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We were fighting there. Who... No, no, no. Don't, you don't need to attack there. I don't remember telling you guys to do that, but you don't need to attack there. Cool. Calm, calm, calm your tits. Take your tits and calm them down. Alrighty. Alrighty, already, already. Still, just bombing the shit out of this one spot. Oh my god. And this, this, <laughs> again, this is what I hate about fu the fucking Air Force. They can't... It, it has absolutely no sense of... Uh, you know, the appropriate way to do things. They, the planes will fight to the death. They will fight to the death until there's nothing left, and then you lost all that IC building them. Which is why I'm not using my Air Force. It's a pain in the ass, and I don't like it. Pain in the butt. I mean, it's a really good way to waste IC in black ice. It's, I just don't like the way it's balanced. It's balanced very peculiarly. Now, we have a huge concentration of troops here that aren't needed anymore. So what we're going to do is grab a ton of these infantry units. I'm going to move them to the south side of the Varta, Varta River. Because from there, we can kind of press, uh, press the Germans and hopefully take a little bit of that land. They are causing a bit of a headache here. It looks like the Panzer, this uh, 59th Panzer Division is doing a good job attacking us. But no, no worries really. We have plenty of other units in the area. Actually, you can take some infantry and move them up as well. Are we, are we causing any damage to them? Organization very low. Not really. Everybody keep moving. Keep your butts moving. Especially the mechanized troops. You guys are super strong these days. Any interesting... Uh, I can cancel order 227 again, but I'm not going to bother. I don't know if these... I don't think they have any organization to them down here. I don't think. Major defeat. That was up there. Yep, I know. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You guys need to actually cool it for a while. Shit, I mean, I feel like pressing at least to the banks of the Oder River is going to be very useful for me. So uh, why, why don't we why don't we wait on that for just a little bit though? I don't think that's entirely necessarily the, necessary at the moment. Lost the Battle of Sophia. Oh, they must have, you know what? They must have brought in more troops is what happened there. I didn't think they did. I thought we had already taken the city. They brought in more troops. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now we have tro troops in Bulgaria here. We can do something with it. Oh my god, you guys are so fucking slow. How long have we... Oh, you know what? Add war goal time. It was five days ago to add war goal time, actually. Hold on to see. Uh, why don't we cancel order 227? Uh, delete the attrition modifier 5% activated. Oh, okay, that actually will save manpower because I won't be suffering from attrition. Well, as much attrition. So Germany, add war goal. Do, 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 do. Acquire territory. Bohemia. Italy, add war goal. Acquire territory, split region. Just going through everything and adding and, and acquiring territory. Pacific military bases. Add war goal. Nope, nothing there. Hungary, add war goal. Acquire territory. So many regions. Romania, add war goal. I don't know why. If I thought I already well, we put conquer on there. Uh, Croatia, Serbia not at war. Bulgaria at war goal. Acquire territory. Portugal at war goal. Acquire territory. Done. All right. Added, added war goals. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Making a lot of progress. 
Now that well, it, what what it took is like several weeks for the reinforcements to really properly arrive from where they were to where they were needed. Maybe we might be able to muscle through right there. We'll see. We will see what's going on up here. I don't think we can get any further. I think that's as far as it'll let us go. And then I think you have to go around. I don't think there's the infrastructure available up there. Pretty sure there's not infrastructure available up there to continue movement. So, a lot of SS troops here. A little scary. Uh, let's leave, like, just trying to make sure my... The, the, the crux of my attacks here are strong. We're actually getting pretty close together. They're we're retreating out of this area. Means we can probably just grab a couple units and carry them on their way back. If they're retreating out, they're probably not going to put up too much of a fight. Fucking Lair Division. Goddamn bastards. Magic, magic of the Lair Division. All right, back in there. Wipe out this, uh... 59th Panzer Division. Knock their strength and organization down, then I won't have to worry about them too much. Alright. Bunch of stuff just about to arrive at the front, too. Ton of troops. All right, what do we want to do here? Let's grab most of these guys and hit this huge concentration of troops. I don't know what it is, but we're going to attack it. It looks like it's a bunch of command units. Hit that concentration of troops. Good. Would you look what we got going here, folks? Another little breakthrough. See the pincers closing on in here. We can call this the Pripet Pocket because it is a massive, massive pocket we have forming based around the Pripet Marshes. And look at this. That's a breakthrough right there. There is nothing standing between me and... The, uh, the other side of the frontage. We're going to have to make sure this is wide, though, because if it's thin, it's going to be vulnerable to supply situations. All right, so let's take some of these units that are a little more worn out and just continue them this way. Let's see if we can get tanks across the river. If we can, that'd be wonderful. Everybody else, launch an attack straight up here. Keep those units worn out and worn down. Wonderful! Absolutely wonderful. Oh, that makes me happy. What we're gonna do is take these garrisons and uh, garrison Serbia with them. Trap a bunch of those. I don't know why there's so many damn Italian units in there. But we're gonna trap all those guys in there. Panzer Lair Division's been defeated once again. Once again. Once again. Once again. Once again. Stupid Panzer Lair Division annoys the absolute love, living shit out of me because it just keeps reforming somehow. All right, let's see if we can't keep this going. Romanians, they're not going to be able to stand up against mechanized troops. Sorry, Romanians, but they're not. Oh, and look, a crack in the line. Take basically an entire, well, half an army and throw them through that gap. So we've managed to, I, I, the bigger this pocket gets, the, the you know, this huge tumor in the line, the better it is for me. Because I have the, the manpower to hold the front edge while the Germans don't. I can hold, I, I, I keep funneling more troops in, it shores up the line, and then I can push it bigger and bigger and bigger. It thins out the German lines. The bigger it gets for me. So the bigger it is, the better. The bigger the better. Everybody should know that by now. Alright, a lot of troops moving down this way. Very well. Very, very, very well. What? 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 The fuck? Maybe garrison these ports up here. I think the Germans keep moving in ships. Moving in troops via ships. They're Put them on ships and shipping them in. How are you doing against the Romanians? Ah, almost through. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, you know what we should check on? 
Is this down? Whoa! They actually made a lot of progress. It looks like the Spanish Republic either made a landing or had an uprising there, too. Do, 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 do. Anything else interesting going on in the world? No? Not really? Japan owns all these islands? Took Pearl Harbor? Oh, my mouse just died. Switch to the other one. Now, well. Well, they took some of the Hawaiian Islands. They didn't take everything. They still got Honolulu. Eh, not much going on in the rest of the world, really. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming this might actually blow up into a big problem for them. I didn't think there'd be another allied invasion, honestly. That kind of threw me for a loop. There was a loop and I was thrown through it. What do we got here? Three corp oh, so those are Danish soldiers fighting with the Wehrmacht. Whoa! Where did those guys come from? I didn't see them before. Hopefully we can actually get across the river here pretty easily, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get across the river without too much trouble there. Are we, are we gonna be able to hold out this time or no? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be good. Good to go. Alrighty, nice. So we I didn't anticipate being able to break through right here, but uh, a timely injection of troops meant that we were able to punch through it and we're gonna get we, we might be able to get up there by the time winter sets in. I do not know, but it'll be close. Uh, still, we've run through about a million men this campaign season so far. Heavy casualties. Heavy casualties, but that's it's been cool. It's been fun. It's been a lot of cool progress here. All right, let's see if we can start pushing the... Which which Panzer Division we got here? The 11th Panzer Division, so one of the originals. Should be able... With multiple combat penalties, they should start wearing out, yeah. Whoa, that was a big battle. Oh, that was right here. That was weird. Why would they launch an attack there? That doesn't make any sense. Still under attack. Right here. You guys are still under attack. You making any progress against the, the Danish? Eh, we can help out. Sorry, Danes. Maybe you shouldn't have joined the Fairmont. Then you wouldn't have died. Very good, very good. More oil rigs are coming. We did overrun the Romanian oil fields, which are here. They have a little bit there and right there. And I am building, uh, I, I do have the oil rigs building there. So right there. So that should help out with the oil situation. It's not nearly as bad as I thought. I thought it might run out of oil, but I didn't. Didn't end up running out of oil. Oh, the Portuguese have arrived. Portuguese units fighting the Ruskies. Looks like we're having some trouble moving our men up quickly. We're not getting supplies in here, though. That's why. That's that's understandable. That's understandable. I understand why that's happening. We've managed to push to the Oder River. Are we actually holding out here? I mean, if I was the Germans... The Russians being uh, holding the the bank of the Oder River would, would would scare the absolute bejesus out of me. There'd be no bejesus left. All right, so why don't we try something here? See if we can't turn their flank a little bit. It's been uh, pretty static right here for a little while now. 21st Panzer Division. Yep, losing some strength. Good. I mean, how many pro how many provinces are we? Uh, uh, there's like one, two, three, four, five, five, six provinces between the the pincers now. And I mean, they are both moving. Guard status again. All right, we can do that. But we are going to leave this episode right here, having made you know after we stalled out uh, the timely you know injection of reinforcements. 
have allowed our pincers to keep moving. So everybody, if you have enjoyed this, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time.